Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Red Adolescence and welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And as the title suggests down below, I have some huge news that I would like to share with my subscribers. And this is super exciting news. And this is something that I've been sort of keeping in, something that I've been keeping hush hush, but I'm finally excited to be able to get in front of the camera and share this with my loyal subscribers. Only a few of my closest friends have known this and I really appreciate their confidentiality. So when I released fragrances back in November, the seven fragrances for the brand, the five staple fragrances and the two ouds. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, do you plan on doing more for your brand? Are you releasing more fragrances? Do you have things lined up? And I wasn't really able to divulge more information, but now as the time is getting closer, I would like to reveal that I have been working on other fragrances and these fragrances have been in the works for a very, very long time now. And I'm finally excited to be able to release these fragrances. So I actually have three fragrances launching very, very soon. And I have taken your feedback and your suggestions and I have been listening to everything that my subscribers have been telling me and that they've been asking me. And so there was a lot of interest in uh, showing more behind the scenes footage. There was a lot of interest in hearing from the perfumers and I've managed to secure all of that. And I can't thank the perfumers enough for once again welcoming me into their factories and allowing me to have this footage and to be able to interview them on camera so that you guys can hear this information straight from the horse's mouth and you can learn a little bit more about the fragrances, the thought process behind it, how they were able to execute uh, what was mentioned in the briefs and all of these things that, you know, a lot of people aren't always privy to because we're so used to as consumers and I speak on behalf of myself of course I walk into a department store I purchase a fragrance and very seldom do I know what happened behind the scenes how that fragrance was brought to the market what was the thought process behind it what was the original intention of the smell and the fragrance itself and I'm so happy that I'm able to bring this to you guys and I can't thank all of the people who have supported me enough everything from my subscribers who have supported me since day one who have blind bought fragrances despite the fact that they were available for sampling through either a discovery set on sensplit.com Oswald could have very easily made samples. There were tons of people splitting it in the groups. People are selling it on eBay, but there are so many people who actually took the plunge and they purchased fragrances just to support me. So I can't thank you enough. Thank you for trusting in me. Thank you for believing in me. And I also want to thank the two retailers who have decided to start carrying the brand. Oswald, of course, who has been super supportive since day one. I love Josie and the entire team over at Oswald. I'm going to be leaving links down below for where you can purchase the uh, fragrances from their official website. And also recently, we are being carried at Perfumology over in the historical district of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Thank you very much, Nir, for believing in the brand. And thank you for a super successful event that we just had last Saturday. I'm also gonna leave a link to that website down below as well. So definitely check them out. They are absolutely amazing. So with that being said, I do have several videos lined up. This will be a three-part series. So this is part one of three. I'm so excited for you to discover these upcoming three fragrances. And let's start things off by learning a little bit more about the upcoming release composed by perfumer Jorge Lee. And this one is called Arcanum. Everyone, my name is Steven. Welcome back to another video. And today I have the pleasure and the honor of being here with perfumer Jorge Lee. Thank you so much for welcoming me to Turkey. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for accepting our invitation. No, of course, my pleasure. So of course, what finds me here is because obviously for Navitas Parfum, we are gonna be releasing a new fragrance this coming March, which I am so excited about. And this one is called Arcanum. So it is a Latin name, of course, going along with the theme of the brand. Uh, the name obviously means mysterious. 
And so I remember when we pitched the fragrance to you, obviously we wanted something that smelled quite mysterious, dark, uh, a little ambery perhaps, resinous. So if you don't mind answering the question for a lot of my subscribers at home, what are some of the ingredients that went into composing this fragrance or how would you describe the smell as a perfumer? Well, um, thank you very much. Um, as uh, as uh, the brief indicated, uh, we were looking for something mysterious and dark and immediately that makes me think of an ingredient like labdanum, oh, sure. which is the main feature ingredient in this perfume. So uh, from then the Accord is trying to make uh, labdanum uh, be part of a Chypre, not in the traditional sense, but in, in a bit in a modernized uh, with the use of uh, uh, newer ingredients. Uh, in this case, we have uh, some uh, creaminess of coconut that is oh, yeah, right. right on top. And uh, I think it lends itself to, you know, give a, a bit of light to that darkness. Uh, I love that. I really do. I like that there's that um, fruity introduction or fruity overtone, mm -hmm. and it kind of strikes the smeller in this very unconventional way. You know, I think so often we're used to like peach or apricot, but here to have something like coconut in contrast to like those deeper, more resinous ingredients, it's quite fascinating. I really enjoy this one. <laughs> I think you've outdone yourself with this one. Thank you. That's very nice. <laughs> I'm hope, uh, I hope that uh, Navitus uh, customers will really enjoy it as well. Thank you. I'm pretty confident that they will. And I know that you mentioned that this one has like a Chipra element about it. And one of the things that I particularly like about Primas, which is another one of your creations, okay. is it has this verdant undertone that I really enjoy. Mm -hmm. So like a little bit of like that oak moss and the woods that are in there. And so how would you say this one differs in contrast to that? Well, uh, in the case of Primus, we're much more in the traditional uh, construction of uh, Chypre, so sure. you will get a much more uh, dry and uh, I think in, in my interpretation of what Chypre really means is a darkness that is contrasted by very sh sharp freshness. Yeah. Uh, that would be the traditional style. So in the case of Primus, there are some uh, oak moss and uh, amber woods yeah. Uh, that are part of the of the accord. Patchouli is definitely very important oh, sure, absolutely. Uh, for this construction. And then the mango is uh, what gives a little bit more original um, aspect, uh, the freshness, the light in this accord is coming from that. Side. I really appreciate that because I can smell both and they have quite a stark contrast in terms of the olfactory profile. And so Alcanum is one that I have been wearing a lot over the past few months. And so it's one that we've been sitting on for a while. It's one that we've been working on for quite a bit. And so I'm really excited for it to be launched. And I just want to thank you for your creative expertise. Thank you thank very you much. Thank you for working on it. And it's nothing short of a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jorge. My pleasure, <laughs> as always.